Hi, today we are going to see College Conference and Event Booking Management Man Web Application. So first let's see how to start the project. Open the MangoDB. Then connect the MangoDB. Left side you can able to see the backend database on these tables. Like click the user. Here you can see the user register details. Let's go to the Visual Studio. First explore the project folder. Now you can see the SRC file. It's have a backend and a client folders. Go to the backend. It have a modules and routers. Next go to the client. Client is here front end. Here you can see the SRC folder. Then click the components. It's have a react.js components files. Uh, click the one file. Here you can see the project code. Next go to the readme text file. Here you can see how to run the project in step by step procedure and login details. Next connect the backend and the client servers. So open the terminal. First run the backend. So enter the CD backend. Then install the node modules. Enter the npm install. I have already installed, so I go to the next step. Enter the npm run dev. Now backend server is connected. Next, click the press button. Then connect the client terminal. So I enter the CD client. Then enter the npm run dev. Now client server also connected. Now we can see the URL link. Then copy the project URL link, then paste to the web browser. This is the project homepage. It have a three roles, user, admin and college. First go to the college. We have to sign up, go to the register. Enter the college details, enter the college name. Then give the college email ID. Enter the password. Your password must contain at least one capital letter, one special character, the length of the ITK. Then give the 10 digit mobile number. Enter your city. Now register successfully. If you already register, you can use your email ID and password, then login into the college homepage. If you want to log in first time, admin should approve your profile after you can log in your homepage. So go to the admin home. Enter the email ID and password. Now login successfully. This is the admin home page. Admin can view the events and user details, then approve the college. First go to the view events. Here you can see the all events details and then it will update the status active or inactive 
then go to the user details here you can see the user contact details then click the U approval college here you will be see the user de college details and then you can approve the college now status update successfully After admin give the approval, you can log in your home page. This is the college home page. College will be clear the events under view the event details. Then you can manage the seat availability and view the student bookings. First go to the create events. Here you will be post the event details. So enter the event name. Then select the event type, event or conference. Then enter the name. Then give the date and time. Then select the month. Then give the avenue. Then give the duration. and registration deadline then maximum partitions then give the de description and price After you fill the fields, give the submit button. Now create successfully. After you post the events, then you can automatically view your event details. Here you can see the all events and con conference details. And then if you want to upload the photo, click the upload photo, then choose the file. and select the image now image upload successfully then if you want to update or delete you can do it here next go to the ticket here you, you can update the ticket status so enter the event type Then give the ticket price and number of seats. Now click the sum save. Then you can see the all ticket details here. Then if you want to search any field name. You can find the event details. If you want to update or delete, you can do it here. Next, go to the view student booking. Here you can see the student booking details. And then you will verify. Then you can download the documents and the payment receipt. After you verify the student booking, give the approval.
Now approval successfully. Once you give the approval, go to the minus sheet availability. Here you can see the number of sheet decrease. They are automatically decreased. Let's go to the view my feedback. Here you can see the user feedbacks. Then my profile is used to update your contact details. Next we will move for the user login. We have to sign up. Go to the register now. Here you will be given the contact details. Then click the sign up. After you register, you can issue your email ID and password. Then log in to the user home page. Now log in successfully. This is the user home page. User can search event details then book the event. So first go to the search event. Here you can see the all event details. Then you will search. Then you can use the search option. Search any field name. You can find the events. Then if you want to apply the event, go to the apply now. Here you can see the ticket details. Then you will select one ticket. Then click the book, book now. Here you will be book your event. Enter your name. Then give your register number. Give your college name. Then enter your mobile number and address. Now click the submit button. Now booking successfully. After your booking, you can see your booking details. And then you will see your status. Your status is pending. And then you will upload your document and payment receipt. Click the upload document and then choose the file and upload your documents. Then go to the payment receipt, choose the file and upload your payment receipt. And then go to the payment receipt, here you can see your payment details. Then go to the my profile, here you can update your contact details. So this is the college event booking management man web application. Code shopping.